Palantir to 0.5 trillion in 2022? Can PLTR stock go to $100? Palantir stock dash PLTR. Hey guys, welcome back to Stacking Stocks and many thanks for joining us today. Today's session is going to be super exciting as always. We don't intend to disappoint and hopefully you'll find this session interesting as usual. Now let's get started. What are the headlines today? Today's session is going to be about PLTR stock. What you should know about it. Are you planning on day trading PLTR stock? We think that you shouldn't, but rather buy and hold the stock for long-term returns. Investors with long-term portfolios are likely to gain from high-growth PLTR stock, and so today we'll find out why that's possible. Palantir Technologies, or PLTR stock, has joined the elite ranks of shares, gaining momentum to the extent of attracting investors' attention. If you've not noticed the rising stock yet, we believe it's time for you to start taking note of its existence. PLTR stock is flat year-to-date, but it hit a record high of $45 in late January. Currently, the stock is trading at around $24. But on the brighter side, the stock debuted in the market on September 30, 2020, and has since surged by about 140%. In simpler terms, anyone who invested $1,000 now owns shares worth $2,400. This stock has surely come a long way. It's only prudent that we analyze the rise of PLTR stock from scratch. Where did it all begin, and where is this stock heading? Founded in 2004, Palantir is a Colorado-based group whose work with governments has been deemed controversial and secretive. But that's besides today's focus. Our primary attention is drawn towards the stock's price performance. We know that the shares have been under constant pressure since Palantir's fourth quarter and FY20 earnings report of mid-February. Additionally, higher bond yields have sparked a visible rotation from growth stocks to value stocks, as well as asset classes that could do well in inflationary times. With that in mind, today's session is meant to discuss what investors should anticipate for PLTR stock. Are you a long-term investor? The current levels of Palantir shares are worth considering. We believe that the stock's figures have been quite remarkable since its debut, despite the significant decline of price per share since hitting a record high of $45. But that shouldn't deter any long-term investor from buying and holding PLTR stock. Let's have an extensive insight into Palantir's returns. Palantir's quarterly revenue was approximately $320 million. That's a 40% year-over-year increase. The company's 2020 revenue the full year was $1.1 billion, posting an increase of 47% year over year. What you don't know is that more than half of the revenue comes from government contracts. Gotham Platform fuels the growth. The company's other platform, Foundry, specializes in commercial businesses seeking to improve their data analytics and management capabilities. As you can see, Palantir gains significantly from its government projects. Ideally, government projects tend to be reliable. At least then we can be assured of steady returns. The company's income from operations during the fourth quarter was $104.1 million. As much as Palantir incurred a loss of close to $156.6 million, we've observed that its margins as well as average revenue per customer are expanding. We gathered from Palantir's announcement that the company had secured several contracts. It consists of high-profile clients such as the FDA, NHS, PG&E, Rio Tinto, the U.S. Army, and U.S. Air Force. Overall, during the quarter, Palantir signed 21 contracts, each worth $5 million or more. As far as we know, this year, Palantir and International Business Machines, or IBM, partnered to offer clients hybrid cloud, data processing, and artificial intelligence to improve operations and data management. The main target of the partnership is businesses in the financial services, healthcare, manufacturing, retail, and telecommunications industry. From the look of things, Palantir is set to rack up some massive returns, and that's not even all of it. We've also gathered that in recent weeks, the company and Amazon announced that Palantir is set to offer an enterprise resource planning or an ERP system optimized to run on Amazon Web Services. In a nutshell, Palantir's list of remarkable clients is growing even bigger. We're talking about consistent growth here. If you're a long-term investor, these are the signs of a lucrative business opportunity. We're talking about massive stock growth in the long run, 
Impressive clients are a key indicator of huge returns. Palantir stock price will definitely increase in the long term. You don't want to miss out on big returns. The company's management now expects the first quarter of 2021 revenue growth of 45% year over year. Well, we're noticing a respectable metric. Although the company is not yet profitable, PLTR stocks, forward PE and PS ratios are around 172.41 and 21.71, pointing to a rich valuation level. That's why Palantir is getting a lot of attention in terms of share price level debates. Several events are putting PLTR stock in the limelight, and popular investors are buying the shares. Currently, 12-month price targets for the shares range from $15 to $40. Have you got your PLTR stock shares yet? We've noticed that the initial investor enthusiasm after Palantir has gone public has leveled off in recent weeks. In the meantime, we've seen that the firm is trying to accelerate revenue increase by procuring new clients and forging crucial partnerships. Look at the new contracts secured by Palantir. We're talking about long-term contracts worth millions of dollars. The company's current market cap rests at a blockbuster $40 billion. Well, it seems like the company has substantial room for growth. Nonetheless, we can't doubt Palantir's incredible revenue growth in the government sector. The company's commercial business is the only sector that's picking up slowly. We're aware that the commercial business sector represents 39% of the first quarter sales. The company's revenue guidance from 2021 to 2025 indicates consolidated growth of at least 30%. However, Palantir has to alter its business strategy so as to gain more enterprise customers, thus reaching its ambitious growth projection. For the company to achieve its long-term growth rate, there has to be an enterprise shift, but we have established that things are moving a bit slow. As a result, Palantir is doubling up on the healthcare segment of the business to accelerate growth. The company has several notable hires and has announced marquee customers such as the Food and Drug Administration, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, and the National Institutes of Health. Have you noticed the mixed bag trend that Palantir has adopted on long-term revenue growth? The latter necessitates a revaluation of PLTR stock. Now, while the stock's current figures might be disappointing, the long run is likely to be productive. As an investor, you need to bide your time and hold your PLTR stock. Of course, there's no guarantee that we'll see a price skyrocket up to $100 today or tomorrow, but the key indicators project a possible PLTR stock price increase. What can we advise about the stock? Is it a buy now or a sell now? It all depends on your risk and return profile. How do you perceive PLTR stock? Is it an opportunity to grab or a risk to avoid? You might want to consider buying dips in PLTR stock with a view to own it for the long haul. We project that the stock will be well above $100 in about three or four years. PLTR stock has the potential to become a core name in a growth portfolio. The question is, are you willing to seize the opportunity as early as now? One challenge that arises is gauging the best entry point into PLTR shares. The reason is PLTR is a momentum stock that attracts day traders' attention. We would advise retail investors to avoid going for short-term options. The stock's daily volatility is set to remain high. If you've been a stock investor for a while, you know that getting into the market when it's highly volatile can be dangerous. You risk losing all your investments. This is the question that needs to be asked. Is Palantir set to reach $0.5 trillion in 2022? Even with the steady contracts from governments, this figure is an overstretch maybe in about three or four years, as we mentioned before. So if you're interested in PLTR stock but don't want to commit capital into a single name, you could consider buying an exchange trade fund or an ETF that holds the company too. The choice is yours to make. Well, that's all we have for you today. We'll keep you posted on updates about PLTR stock. Thanks for joining us here on Stacking Stocks. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell. See you next time. Thank <laughs> you.